Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate Stories. Today's question is, does photography matter? Hey, Mason. Hi. So here's the question. Does photography matter? And, you know, or the description, which is more important, right? Are they equally important? Is one more important than the other? So we're going to kind of share this with you. Not kind of. We are going to share this with you Um, because we were doing a little research. And as you can see here, I think photography matters, my opinion. And but if your house looks like crap, I could bring in the best photographer in the world and it's still going to look like crap. Right. So it's if you're selling your house, it's always in your best interest to prep your house to the best of your ability. And some homes are going to look better than others. We know that. But we always stress when we're, when we're meeting with you that clean and neat goes a really long way. So I would say that I don't know, like I'm looking at this picture here, guys. I don't know if it was done with a professional or the real estate agent took this picture. Okay. It doesn't matter. It looks horrible. I, I, if this is the way the house was left and I have no other choice but to market the house, I'm just not including this picture. Yeah. And like professional opinion is a professional would just be not use that, take a photo of that room yeah. and the story. Yeah. Your agent, like if you have a home that's in bad shape, your agent probably shouldn't use certain pictures that just don't make sense. But it's important to make sure that in the description, it does clue in the potential buyer as to the condition of the house. I've, really, really important. I've so, seen like, homes too, just to, where it's just the exterior of the, the home because the yep. inside is just so poorly taken care of or whatever you want to say. It just looks like crap that yep. it doesn't make sense to even do that. You know, use a photo of the inside. Yeah. So this is an interesting one. This house has an indoor pool, right? Kind of. Indoor, yeah, well, it looks like it's indoors and it looks like a pool. Yeah, I guess, yeah. You know, that's a disaster waiting to happen, right? Here's another one. Selling uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about the house, but it looks like the dog is doing some business there. Uh, yeah, probably that. don't want to include that. And maybe that picture was taken by accident, you know? I don't know. There you I, go. There's the, it can't uh, be posted by accident, though. Well, I, I would say that sometimes an agent can overlook when they're just uploading stuff, right? They can overlook it. Sure. Sure. But I mean, that's excessive, right? I mean, the dog is like front and center. It's very it's obvious. Cool. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you crop this picture a little bit and you can still get the house and you can lose the dog or maybe you use a little Canva or something and you edit the dog out, yeah. right? It, yeah. Now, I wouldn't start editing photos to make the house look different than it is. But if the dog found its way into this picture, we always say no, no pets, no people in these photos. You know, I, I don't see any issue with editing the dog out of the picture, right? I don't see that that's a problem. This yeah. is how we saw. Well, so here's here's a good example. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, why this picture? I mean, this is a picture. Looks like I'm trying to sell a bed on Craigslist. I don't know yeah. what that's going on here. With some creepy guy in the background. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, probably not a good photo if, if 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 the seller really likes the photo find a way to edit out the uh the extra person right yeah wow, look at this room wallpaper? So, that looks like wallpaper yeah so sometimes it's fun to look at just look through the mls and see what you can find you know oh my god oh, that's a bed in the middle i didn't even know i thought that was a hallway yeah it's a it's a narrow room right looks like a window back here yeah it could and then that together yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I don't know that there's much you can do about that. The room is the room, and uh, it's just it's just a very strong statement piece, right? Yeah, this is wild. Look at this. So you have I've seen stuff like this before. Not three toilets, but like I've seen the goofy things like this. So you might have. I don't know how many of these are toilets or bidets. If you guys watching this can can make sense out of this, let us know. Um, there's three. That looks like a sink in the middle well there's two sinks right you have a green sink you have a white sink and then you have i, I don't know 
I guess that's a toilet. This might be a bidet because of the way that, right? And then this is a toilet now that I'm looking at them. Toilet so you have, what, what, baby? Toilet, toilet bodies. <laughs> Nothing to kind of interesting. I mean, there's obviously, you know, we see some interesting stuff, you know, and there's always a reason at some point why somebody did this. Uh, we don't know why. This is just some random Google searching that we did. But we have two toilets, a bidet, and two sinks. This is almost That's on crazy. Plane with that. Mm -hmm. This is almost on plane with that. Yeah, I don't know. Wash, your, wash your hands while sitting on the toilet. I love it. You're that That's close. Genius. Yeah. All right. Uh, this this is interesting. I've dealt with this before. I know you have too. Uh, look, a lot of people like to hunt. Not my thing. But a lot of people like to hunt. They like to uh, show off their trophies. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of times they're hung on the wall. And I've been in homes where they're it, it's excessive. Yeah. And and a lot of buyers will find that to be a turnoff. And that's a delicate conversation. But keep in mind that not everybody is into this, right? This is it doesn't bother me. It is what it is. It's just I'm just not interested. But buyers typically don't have a great imagination. So if I always tell people, look, if you're going to, you're going to move, we're selling your house. You're going to move. We don't know the exact date yet. You're going to need to pack up the trophies anyway, at some point, pack them now, right? Mm -hmm. Put them in storage, put them in the garage, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's, and, it, it's hard to envision when that covers all the walls in the house. Yeah. It really is. Look at this guy. This guy, he's walking on water. It's yeah. unbelievable. It's Jesus. That's, that's quite a, uh, and he's riding a porpoise, it looks like. That's pretty amazing. That's that's an interesting special effect to catch your attention, I guess. Uh, this is, uh, well, there's a pig there. It looks oh. like a barn, but it's not really a barn because it looks like there's a desk. Interesting, right? <laughs> God. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Oh, this is cool. Oh, awesome. So we have a, a bathroom in the uh, living room or something which carpeted at least the floor with a bathroom yeah that's great carpet and a bathroom always a great idea it's an old school thing i've seen <laughs> those older homes and you still see it yeah and i don't understand that because what happens if there's a flood now your carpet's destroyed <laughs> yes that's true all right that looks like a torture chamber of some kind probably would not include this picture <laughs> definitely not oh great um we got dolls everywhere i've been in homes with lots and lots of dolls i don't know if you have no oh my god it's really creepy really creepy i've been in stuff similar to this or they're standing all over the place really really creepy and i know that this is a legit hobby for people i get it people collect these things i would handle this the way i handle the trophies in the other picture is put it away I yeah, it's, it's freaked people out. I remember walking through a house not that long ago, and there was a heck of a doll collection there. And these buyers were freaked out, freaked out. Yeah, it's yeah, there's certain things I think they're just like, there's delicate conversations. That's another one you have to have. That's your client. So is this means it needs gardening or are they growing marijuana? I can't tell. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of that. But at the very least, I think you need a really strong weed whacker when you buy this house. Yeah. And I use the term weed loosely. All right. Uh, oh, look, there's a ghost under the sink here. <laughs> yeah, so those kind of things need to be addressed prior to the photography. That's what's going to help sell the home. Like these small little, some of it's not small, but some of these things like, we can only do so much. The photographer can only edit so much to make your home look so beautiful. And it becomes a certain point where you have to put in a little bit of effort to also enhance your home to help when buyers are coming to look at it. Yeah. The photographer, like sometimes they'll adjust the sky. If it's a little overcast day, they'll throw some blue sky in there. Of course that looks better. You know, if, you know, we used that example early on with the dog, the dog found his way into that photo and he was doing his business. If you can edit that guy out, probably a good idea, right? Yeah. But they should never be altering the house, right? No. No. They shouldn't be changing the color of the walls or, I mean, you know, the technology makes it pretty easy to do a lot of creative things. They should never do that. So you as a home seller, 
You just need to take a, a step back and look at it objectively and say, what can I do to put my home in the best possible light? And if you're not in the area and you need help with stuff like that, or you are in the area and you still need help, we have people, you know, there's people that can help. Junk removal, stagers, there's all kinds of stuff like that out there. All kinds of services that... Really? Yeah, froze. So we had a, a little technical glitch there. Anyway, guys, what I was saying was just do your best to always put your home in the best possible light, whatever you can do. Uh, and us or your agent, if you're in a different area, can always help with that. A professional does, any real estate professional should have contacts to help you. But the bottom line is, you don't want to have anything creepy around, nothing that's going to scare people. And whether your photography is done professionally or if it's done by an agent in some cases, um, it's okay if it's done by the agent. You know, it's not always the best scenario, but, you know, maybe the agent's reflection shouldn't be seen in a mirror. I know you've all seen that, you know. Yeah. Um, in some cases, we'll also shoot a home rather than have it done professionally. It depends on some circumstances. But you know, we'll make sure that we're not in a reflection either. So it's really just about making sure that when somebody is looking, looking at homes online, we know that we have basically a split second because this is everyone, right? They're just yeah. looking, 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 looking. We have a split second to catch their attention and have let them go. Oh, that looks interesting, right? Yeah. And if we can get them to do that, then hopefully they get to the point where they're looking at all the photos and the description. So the description is really important too, but in many ways it's secondary because the description doesn't get them to tap or click. The photos get them to tap or click. There you go. There's your word of wisdom. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please take a minute and like this video. Subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of all new content as soon as as it is uploaded. If you're looking for a real estate agent in Southern New Jersey, all of our contact information is below. If you're looking for a real estate agent anywhere else, let us know. We have a great network of like-minded professionals and we would be happy to make an introduction. Thank you for watching. Thanks guys.